mom used to be so independent, so strong and willing to do kind of, you know, adventurous things and was so patient and kind. Growing up, she was my best friend. I always could go to her to talk about anything. Everybody loved my mother. You know, she was just one of those people. She loved her family. She loved the holidays. She liked dancing and singing and getting dressed up. She's got 36 nieces and nephews. She was always the life of the party, always the hostess. A kind, funny, caring human being. It was hard seeing her be one, once this strong woman become so frail and in a way alone because she couldn't even have her own memories anymore. I had always promised my mother I'd always take care of her. For a while she lived with my family and me until we couldn't do it anymore. It was just dangerous for her. Probably the worst day in my life was bringing her to a memory care home. It was a beautiful place. And they treated her nice. But walking out that day and leaving her there, she was so confused. And it killed me because, you know, I told her I'd never leave her. But I had to. You know, I didn't have a choice. She was just the best, like, most caring person. You know, she'd do anything for my sister and I. It's just heartbreaking that we never had a chance to really know each other. As adults, I mean, I went away to college and my mom would call me pretty much every day. While I was there, it became very clear that there was something wrong and my mom was well on her way to being diagnosed with Alzheimer's and couldn't even pick up the phone and call me anymore. Most people, when they think of Alzheimer's or dementia, they're picturing a much older person who's really experienced their entire life. Not that anyone ever wants to get it at any age, but my mom was really robbed of her life and what was probably going to be the best part of her life. It sucks. It's a... Uh... We're right in the middle of it. So our mother was diagnosed about a year, a year ago. A year and a half ago. And it's been a constant and steady battle. And decline. It's, and it's a decline. What it's done is it's taken a powerful, strong, thoughtful woman and destroyed her. Her brain is gone. She lives in fear and frustration and anger. It's just terrible for her. It's really sad to see happen. What hurts me the most is, is is the position that my father has been left in. Taking care of my mom is not really something I thought I would be faced with in my 20s. I had always thought grandparents that age might be, you know, when you start kind of, you know, looking after your parents. So it's definitely been a shift. I feel like a lot of times the caregivers take on so much and they don't have time for themselves and they get overwhelmed. I see with my boss and his wife, they've been together since elementary school, they've known each other, and he's always, she's always been the caregiver in the family, the, the business. And now all of a sudden she can't, and he's taken over that role, and I feel like it's taken years off of him because he's worried this is the love of his life. The woman that took care of his business, his children, everyone needs some help. If you know someone who is impacted by this, be understanding, be supportive, just reach out and let them know that you care about them and you're here for them. I felt like maybe for seven years I was out on a boat with my mother and the way the storms would come and then the sunshine would come and then the storms would come again and then finally, you know, seven years later I wound up on shore, you know, alone. But the truth is I'm not alone. My dad obviously wants to find a cure for the Alzheimer's Association or for Alzheimer's and I feel like my mom is the driving force behind that. Um, he wants to make her proud and he wants everyone to have hope and make sure we cure this disease one day.